I, I've got asked a couple of times on what setting do I use for long range and uh, I'm planning on going on there but what I do try to do is if I lose signal at least the drone will rise up and go towards where I am and get signal back and take over the drone so the, the few key that I have is I will show you in better flight uh, now hey it's the siege Woo. once again here we go know the name know the flow turn me up a little more Maniac, well you know I'm black to the bone Pick a place, pick a date, I go go cool, pick a log I'ma run this town So here is beta flight now and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I do as my settings for my GPS rescue. So the first thing you need to do is to understand what can you do with your drone and what can't you do. So if you don't have experiences with flying long range, what I would suggest is that you fly places where you're confident with and then you go further and further and you know do you do tricker and risk your flight you know throughout you you know what you're doing uh so yeah let's get into it so the first thing you need to do is to you know when you set your you know your drone you find out which aux channel you have your gps so you have to go to the port channel and i think mine was at ur4 and uh, if you could look here on the ur4 i have this one as gps uh, check in here, save and reboot. I'm not gonna do that because my settings are broad. So you do just do that yourself after six clicking GPS. I just do it, save and reboot. And uh, it open again and we go to the configuration. So in the configuration here, that corner here, I use U blocks and I highly suggest you guys use U blocks because that's the best out there. Um, I don't use the Autobot, it just doesn't work for me, but those two you have to use, like these two have to be checked. Um, don't ask me why, just go ahead and do it. Um, the set point home ones, I use it because if I crash up, you know, up in the mountain and I deactivate, I don't want the, the home point to be set there i want the home point to always set of where i took uh, where i plugged in the battery for the first time so this i put it there you don't have to but i feel like it's great for me i put it there and here since i live in europe i technically should have this one or could have this one at uh, the european satellite but i i don't see the use for it auto detect is good for me and better flight is smart enough to to do that and uh, yeah you can choose to wherever you are but i just leave on auto save and reboot um always do and then you go to your mode tab on the mode tab you after you put your arming you have to have angle mode i will explain why soon then you have the gps rescue beeper flip after crash so after you have those ones, I have my GPS on Ox4 uh, between 1,600 and uh, 2,000 or just wherever you want it. Just do that. You have to save and then you go to failsafe. And remember, all we talked about is really, you know, it's pretty basic and uh, all those are great. I have I've been fine. I find like a lot of tutorial about it where they explain exactly what's going on and what's not. Um, and here, there's a lot going on here. I uh, don't have to go through them because uh, Lehman, uh, even he have a really good uh, video explaining, you know, what's going on here. I would highly suggest to you guys check it out. And as well, I will put just put a link in the description so you guys can just check it out. Uh, 
yeah, I would really, I will highly recommend that you guys check it out because he goes in details and explain exactly what those do and, and not so. So I feel like this is my settings and that has go, worked great for me. And some of them is because I have a lot of wind where I fly and I fly pretty high sometimes and pretty far. So those will work pretty good. So uh, check his, his video and yeah, you find what works best for you throughout his explanation, of course. So all that, you know, when, when the fail safe happen, um, the stage one is that the drone is waiting for you to put an input. After you don't put an input, after X amount of time, you put it here. Uh, then the you know the stage two kicks in. What we do normally is that if you're flying, you know one kilometers away and you you know you're about to lose image, you quickly flip four because this is all my GPS is. So you flip your switch and you 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 initiate DPS rescue. What about what about in case where like it happened to me where I had clear image, good image. But I felt safe, so I couldn't flip the switch. So what happened is that stage one happened. When stage two happened, the GPS rescue was on hold, and the angle mode was on hold. So this is the, this is what happened. So all those happen, and will pitch will your throttle they go to auto? So you kind of like they go auto level, you know but those ones they left on hold and this is where the problem goes because uh the gps don't know what to do so i don't i don't really know exactly how to explain it but what happened is that this one kick in but this the butterfly didn't know which ox to check on because this was on hold so and this is the default so what what I found out is that I come in here and take this one and put on set and my angle mode remember I talked about angle mode earlier so this is where I have angle mode because as soon as the you know this stage 2 kicked in better flight will flip the switch for me because I lost connection since I don't have connection then better flight need to for me and put this one on set so and then put the angle mode as well for me since since we're there why not just put an angle mode if i was upside down diving through i don't know god knows where um i want better flight to just put it on angle mode kind of like to flip it back to you know as it should and then take over for me um just to just to wrap up a bit after you you know, after you set your GPS in here, you go to the mode, you put your aux channel wherever you want, put them. Um, you have to come and fail safe, set this one as you, you know, as you want, as you wish. And then you make sure that the aux 4 or aux 5 or aux 6, I don't know where you put your GPS, is set on set. And then you put a value what your gps rescue would be so yeah so yeah hope this uh video helps and um see you on the next one